the place where myth and science meet. I see the They're real life superheroes. I'm Hit Girl. You have to help me. You have to stand. It's main event time. Choose your future. Choose life. Oh, this is what they do. This is what you can do. This is what your future could be. It really was one crazy summer. Everyone who dicks wants to talk about planets. Hit the button, baby. Let's get, get to work. This mission is a simple in and out. A thousand planets. What is a planet? So from one perspective, you could have the world really taking off with China's One Belt, One Road, infrastructure spending in the U.S. This could be like the moment to shine. And then on the other hand, you have um, Carlson Capital, who sees a very doomsday outlook. Dumbass doom is totally in style. And a lot depends on strong American leadership. Doomsday is here again. Oh, I've heard. I don't know if you know this. Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. So this could be like the moment to shine. And then on the other hand, you have a very doomsday outlook. There is no future. Earth spinning through the solar system, proudly bearing a majestic magnetic field emanating deep within its molten metallic core. The ever-changing field is full of fluctuations from many sources. One such source is the motion of the ocean. Here's one spectacular event you won't want to miss this summer. It's a total solar eclipse sweeping the U.S. from coast to coast on August 21st. It will start near Salem, Oregon and move southeasterly until it sweeps out to sea from South Carolina. The United States is the only place in the world where you can see the eclipse in person. The closer to the center of that path, the deeper the darkness. And get this, for the adventurous, you might I want to try NASA's Parker Solar Probe mission is about to embark on a historic journey to our very own star, the Sun. A new era of exploration. It's a mission of extremes. Humanity's first mission to touch the Sun. NASA's Juno mission recently completed its sixth Jupiter flyby. Welcome to one crazy summer. There are many mysteries of the universe. Neutron stars are one of them. They're the size of a city, but with the mass of two suns. What goes on inside is still unknown. Enter the Neutron Star Interior Composition Explore mission, NICER for short. Perched atop the International Space Station, NICER's 56 telescopes will make X-ray observations of neutron stars. It will help determine the size of these objects the density of the interior, as well as how the particles inside interact. NASA will also use neutron stars like a GPS. Vapor tracers are artificial clouds formed by interactions between barium, strontium, and cubic oxide. NASA is launching a sounding rocket from the Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia. It will release these clouds roughly 100 miles from the ground. Their purpose is to visually track particle motions in space. The byproduct is a light show for folks on the ground to admire. If you live along the East Coast from North Carolina up to New York, you may be able to catch these vapor tracers in the sky. They pose no threat to anyone. Oh Jesus, he's hanging out. Oh my God. No, oh my he God, he's down. hanging. He went down. Did he fall? No, he didn't. Oh Jesus. Please, please, please. Oh my god. Oh. 
I'm sure you can guess what happened. One man spear fishing a shark. Yeah, it got a little bit too close. He spent four hours in the hospital with injuries from a shark bite. It sure looks pretty. What you're seeing is actually fungi, and this actually happens once there's some heavy rain. You get that fungi built up on the roots of the trees. Looks kind of cool here with the luminescent light, but this stuff is actually poisonous. There are many unusual creatures that lurk deep within the ocean floor. Check this guy out with the enormous googly eyes. This is a stubby squid. How about this creature? This is a sea cucumber. Deep within the Mariana Trench, Noah spotted this spectacular jellyfish. You see the tentacles spread apart, suggesting it's waiting for an oncoming prey. Off the coast of Necker Island, scientists caught this peculiar octopus. This ghost-like octopus was never before seen, and they determined it may be a new species. And I'll remind you, Pluto's planet 9, Eris is planet 10, so planet 9 is planet 11, and this is planet 12. Okay, there's Thor News numerical arrangement. And you can't disprove something that you never found, right? I'm not even sure that mankind is ready for it. you're gonna die. Rain, heat, disease-carrying flies, and we haven't started on the things that want to eat you alive. So we're saving the galaxy again? Yep. At first glance, someone might think it was Photoshop. Those eyes are real. Asgard is dead. Brought today, tell me. A contender. I learned a lot, laughed a lot, had fun, made a lot of friends, formed the astonishers. That was all really cool. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Game on, bitches! To so stick around. We've got a video message. I'm gonna have to science the shit out of this. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. My hopes and dreams travel with you. You'll be an outcast. I do hope that wasn't for me. <laughs> but that is. Brexit. Red line. Party dance time. So here we go again. If it's happening in a galaxy, then toys all over here. Hurricanes, solar flares, planet X. How humanity's gonna destroy itself at each other's necks. Yeah, I don't know if you know this. No, I don't know if you know this.
stay cool. We are going from cool to downright hot.